All right, so we're going to actually start and make a project that we'll be able to swap between screens in Android. So in Eclipse, we go up here, we're going to go ahead and go to File, we're going to go to New, and we're going to make a new project. So we go to Other, and we're making an Android application project, and we go ahead and hit Next. And application name, so this is going to be a screen swapper. And package name, again, we always have to give it a package name, and so I'm going to keep with my standard project packages that I'm using with class, so it's going to be ctech.android, saying it's an Android project. Dot screen dot swapper and that has the package name. My build SDK, this is going to be built for, we'll say Android 4.0 just as a general level and we'll accept uh, 4.2 so again it'll take over 90% of all of the available ones that will fit it. As you can see right there, it's available for it. And I'm going to create a custom launcher icon because it's a cool new feature that Eclipse allows for us with inside the Android development kit. And we go ahead and hit next using the default right there. And I don't want to use a little boring person. Let's get a nice, happy little Android. And we'll make the pretty little Android a different color. We'll make him a nice little purplish color. And we say, OK, right there. We close that. Background color. Um, again, you have your color design. You don't want to have this be really dark because then it make it hard to see. We'll put a little bit green. We'll make this a nice little bit bright here. No one can miss that guy. And we're using a blank activity structure because we're just getting it set up. Go ahead and hit next again. And the name of the activity, and this is going to be, um, we'll have this one be basic screen. And again, naming conventions follow. We have to capitalize this. We also have to have no spaces in here. And the Android automatically sets this up with an activity named based on the screen, so it sets it right there. We don't have a hierarchical parent because we're not using a structure or anything pretty like that. And we're good to go. And I go ahead and hit finish. And it creates our basic structure right here. And it brings us immediately to our XML structure for the page. Obviously, you can see it takes a little bit for it to load. It'll happen fairly shortly afterwards. So we'll be able to get inside it. Now, as this is loading, we're going to go ahead and go over here up to my source. Click on the down triangle. And here's our screen swapper. We have our hello world. I don't want to see hello world. That's yucky and nasty. We'll delete that, get rid of that. We're going to add a quick little button in here. And this button is going to tell us where we're going to go. We'll put this right square in the middle. And we're going to name it button one. No, we don't want to name it button one. That's a bad name. So I'll edit the ID, and this is going to go to other screen. So it's other screen button. And we say OK. And it's going to give us that lovely little warning because it doesn't have the right text. We'll also edit our text for that. And we'll make a new text file for this. We'll make a new string. We go up here, and it's going to be the other screen button is the name of the button. And we'll put the text for it. Click here to visit a new screen. We just go ahead and hit OK. We're good to go. We hit OK again. And hey, look at that. Nice and pretty. And it's nice and aligned. It looks really nice and happy. Go ahead and hit the magic button of save because again, we want this all to be available for us. And that allows our R to regenerate. We're going to go ahead and up here, we're going to make another in our source folder. We're going to make another screen. We're going to right click on that. We're going to go to new. And we're going to go to other, and this way we can go to activity. We'll make a new one in here, and this is going to be another blank activity. And this is going to be the other screen activity. And we should actually name this so that it has activity in the name all the time. That way we know exactly that it is an activity, and we have that ready to go for it. We go ahead and hit next. And we're going to option review some pending changes, so it's going to our screen manifest. And it's saying inside here, I'm going to refactor my source. It is going to put some screen swappers. Okay, and that creates another right here. We'll go ahead another button right here. We're going to put this on here. Again, we're putting that on there. This is notice. This is the other screen XML. I'm going to take and get rid of that hello world. Ah, and notice because it's a relative layout, it forces that to go away. We put that back up here in the middle. We don't like button one as a name, so we want to edit our ID again. And this is going to be the home screen button. And I hit OK. And again, it's warning us that that text resource is bad. And so we'll name it canoe string. Also call this one the home string button. And click here to go home. Smiley face. We say OK. All right, we've got that done. We hit save again because we want to make sure this is working properly. 
So we, now we have our two basic screens. Our buttons have names. They have text on them. Now we're going to go ahead and add the code that goes along with that. I'm going to go to my basic screen and open that up. And I'm going to actually try and rename this so it actually ma matches my naming conventions. And so I'm going to go ahead and refactor and rename. And this is going to be a basic screen activity. And I'm going to say next. Yep. And I'm going to say finish. Yay. And save again. And so I'm going to go over here, control shift F, make my formatting get happy. And inside my class structure, make a private button. And I will call this other button. And over here, I'm going to do other button dot set on click listener. And we're going to set a new view dot on click listener. And that creates, <clears throat> excuse me, please, our anonymous center class or type that we have that we have access to. It gives us a, non a name for that. And because we are doing more with just this, we're going to name this a current view because this is going to give us the ability to see what we're looking at and we actually will write the code. And we'll take care of that in just a second. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to my other screen activity. And inside that, control shift F again, format that, make another private button. And call this home button. And inside here, go down here, home button equals button, passing it, find view by ID, passing it r dot ID dot, oh look, there's our home screen button. Fancy fancy that, control save, and that's not there. So I go over here, I import button, takes care of two errors at once. After I fix that too. Oops. Fix that as well. Hit save. Home button dot set action listener. On click listener. And it's a new view dot on click listener. And again I'm renaming this to the current view. And I hit save. And we're gonna go down here to my Android manifest.xml. <laughs> And we are going to look at the application tab. And as you can see, uh, it has the way I do not want it set up. So I'm going to go to the actual XML section. And I'm going to take the name out and take the dot off of that, showing that it's a separate activity. I'm going to take off the intent filters because I do not want them as part of the component because I want this to be a separate app. I don't want this to be an activity on top of it. It's a component activity. And so we'll go ahead and we'll hit save. Get that nice and formatted, nice and pretty. We have our dot bait, our dot in front of the one that's actually starting the activity. The other one has no such thing on that. We go back to our application. It's now properly formatted. Nice right there. Much, much happier. Hit save yet again. I'm going to go to my other screen activity and see where I can find where that error is happening because that shouldn't be there. So we have home button set on click listener. And it's giving me an error message right there, which I don't see a good reason for. So let's go ahead and we'll just delete this and try again. So we have save. We have home button. Dot set. On click listener. New. View dot. On click listener. And hit a semicolon right there at the end and hit save. And yep, there we go. Happiness and joy. So we've got that basic part set up and ready to go. Now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and add the components that are going in when we're actually setting those values. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to go to my other screen because I have that code already predetermined because I don't have it memorized up top of my head. And we go up here and inside the basic one, we take that lovely chunk, copy it, paste it over, and we will paste that inside our basic screen activity. Okay, so save that. And we notice that this is intent, it's not being found, so we have to import it. Take care of that. And other file name dot class here, this is going to be our other screen activity. Again, because this is referring to the class file inside the APK dot class. We save that again, make that nice and pretty. So we have an intent that we are creating. It is a new intent, and if that needs to be current view because we are using the renamed variable, we save that, we're good to go. 
That allows us to save it. We go in. We're going to go into our other screen activity.java. And inside here, we're going to take out the stub with that. We go back over here, get my content for that, where it's just pasting an intent. And we paste that back in. Control Shift F, make that nice and pretty. Ah, it doesn't need to have that formatted back in. We import that in here in this list as well. We hit magic save. And just to make this nice and pretty and keep the code happy, we'll also have that be current view. We save that again. And so we have our basic structure we are going to have inside here. We'll return back to the main screen. This one will take us to the uh, uh, separate screen. We hit save. We hit play. We're going to load this as an Android application. We hit OK again. It gets access to our lovely little emulator. We'll pop that up over here. Ah, there's our basic screen icon for it. Nice. It's going to load up to it. Sorry, the swapper has stopped unexpectedly. Force close. Ooh. Generally, it means we have a null pointer exception. We get to find errors. Hooray. And I know what I forgot to do because I forgot to actually initialize the other button. Other button equals parens button. Yeah, because that was a, basically that was the null error because I didn't do the find view by ID. So that's what you get if you don't if you forget to do the find view by ID problem, which I've done too many times and I knew it as soon as I did it. And this is going to be the other button. So on my other screen activity, I have my home button. On my basic screen activity, I have my other button. And I don't know why my cache is not cleaning up. So hit save. Open this back up, basic screen activity, and we'll see happiness and joy. There we are. This is a new screen. Go home. New screen. Go home. 